All right, so let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is that I'm in the 365 Admin Center. And so what I want to do is navigate to the Admin Center for the Power Platform. So I'll go to All Admin Centers, and then I'm looking for Power Apps. Go ahead and click on Power Apps there. And so notice that it takes me to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and create and manage all of the different environments that I'm going to be working with. So in this scenario, we are going to create a dedicated environment for our project service, for managing projects. So I want to basically isolate everything that I'm doing with my project management in this uh, particular environment. So I have to have the appropriate rights to be able to create these environments. So you may need to work with the, somebody at the 365 level, um, administrative level to assist you with that. So from here, um, notice I do have a few different environments set up. Notice that there's a type indicating whether it's a sandbox or teams or whether it's a production um, environment that has been set up. Up in the left-hand side of the screen, notice that there's a new here, so I can hit new to get to the form where I project P for W underscore admins, something like that. There's some region settings. Here's the type option. I'll leave it as a sandbox, but notice I can change it to production here. Um, I can go right into production if I know I didn't need it to, you know, run through some, um, you know, some development stages before I move it into production. Um, as a sandbox environment, you can convert or promote the environment from sandbox to production. So that obviously is something you can do later on. And then I'll go ahead and hit next and I'll go ahead and hit yes there. Okay, so we can see that the environment has been set up as a sandbox. The state is now ready, so I can go into the environment that I've just that I've just created. Uh, this URL will be important, so I will want to capture that, put it somewhere where you can get easy access to it, so that when we configure. Power BI and some of these other areas will be needing that um, that specific URL. We won't go through all of the different settings here. Once you get your environment set up, um, you can start to go in and, and do a little bit of exploration. But just a couple points of interest. Uh, there's that convert to production that I was mentioning earlier. Of course, the settings, uh, there's quite a few settings around the environment. Three sixty five apps link. So I'll go ahead and click on that one. So it's going to show me the out of the box um, apps that have been set up as part of this uh, environment. Notice that there are some updates that are immediately um, available for you to go and basically set. So so what I'm looking to do here is install the app. So upper left-hand corner, install app. I'll go ahead and select that one there. And I can scroll down. So what I'm looking for is this Microsoft Project Core Service. One and hit next there. Agree to those terms, and then go ahead and get that one installed. 